the recent series of explosions in Lebanon have done more than ripple damage across Hezbollah's strongholds. They have sent shockwaves through Iran's regional strategy. Occurring on September 18, 2024, these attacks have not only inflicted numerous casualties and injuries, but have also laid bare vulnerabilities within Hezbollah's operational security. These attacks, attributed to Israeli intelligence operations, especially targeted Hezbollah's communication network, severely disrupting their coordination and exposing significant gaps in their defensive metrics. The sabotage was executed with surgical precision, involving the placement of explosives in Hezbollah's communication devices. This tactic has hamstrung the group's ability to coordinate military actions, plunging their operational effectiveness into chaos. The ramifications of this disruption extend beyond Hezbollah, casting a long shadow over Iran's broader regional ambitions. Iran, the primary supporter and protector of Hezbollah, is now grappling with the stark reality of its technological and oversight shortcomings. It's an unsettling position for Tehran, challenging its traditional image of invulnerability and meticulous control. These successful strikes by Israeli operatives underscore a formidable technological and intelligence gap. This deficiency has broader implications for Iran's influence among its regional allies, such as Hamas and the Houthis. The realization of Iran's technological inferiority could erode confidence amongst these allies, weakening the bonds that Tehran has painstakingly cultivated. It sets a precedent that signifies a shift in the region's power dynamics, possibly prompting Iran's allies to ponder their own vulnerabilities in the face of superior adversarial capabilities. As a reaction to these devastating setbacks, Iran is likely to undertake a significant reassessment and bolstering of its support systems. This may involve enhancing technological safeguards, reworking communication protocols, and possibly even restructuring its strategic doctrines. The focus will inevitably be on preventing further exposure to such vulnerabilities, seeking to reclaim lost ground and to restore confidence among its regional allies. It's a crucial juncture that might dictate Tehran's future moves, striving to adapt and overcome the challenges posed by these new developments. In sum, the events in Lebanon mark a pivotal moment, highlighting the rising importance of cyber and electronic warfare in contemporary conflicts. These recent developments are likely to stimulate strategic realignments among regional players, accelerating a move towards more sophisticated and secure communication and operational technologies. This new phase in the Middle Eastern conflict landscape underscores a growing complexity that will shape future engagements, reflecting a paradigm shift where information warfare takes precedence over traditional combat tactics.